it's time for some base game flack. You don't own any DLCs, no problem. I got you covered with this build. All right, so what does this build do? Everything. You can do all of the in-game content. You can mob, you can hit all the bosses with it. Everything is going to be absolutely perfectly doable with this build. Now, one of the things that people always have trouble with with flack is survivability, and this build aims to solve that problem a bit as well. One thing that I have discovered with, you know, having to limit myself to base game items is there aren't a lot of great base game artifacts or at least it seems that way right well turns out one of the best ones for flak is a knife drain and it could be any any artifact knife drain rocket boots happens to be the one that i got here but this one gives you melee lifesteal 75 percent melee lifesteal and you combine that with a fish slap grenade with on grenade throw and let's let's take some damage here let me stand in this cryo and then we'll hit this guy with a grenade and you can see that we are fully back to full hp with that one grenade chuck now you can also combine that with the face puncher to constantly give yourself health just by shooting enemies it's pretty ridiculous this build you can literally survive anything as long as you have ammo or as long as you have grenades even you can survive everything and the fish slap does crazy damage with this build as well so you're gonna have a lot of fun with this one i think one thing you do have to watch out for is your own fish slap because it will down you like that that was what we call demonstration purposes all right now once the pet revives me that's a good example of one of the cool things about this build as well as the pet can revive you let's go ahead and cover the gear at the face puncher we just now talked about that combining that with the knife drain you will be able to keep your health up all the time we've also got butchers and all the different flavors we've got the becca this is one of my favorite assault rifles of all time we've got the rowan's con multiple flavors for our shield we're mostly going to use the frozen heart because anytime you trigger this thing whether it's with your your action skills start or if it gets broken you're going to fully heal that's one of the cool things about the frozen heart it will return 30 percent of nova damage back to you as health and you're almost guaranteed to always get full health from that nova basically class mod bounty hunter is the main one for most situations definitely for most bosses and most mobbing situations but you can also use some of the other ones i'll show you here in a moment as well artifact like i said knife drain rocket boots this thing is great again it doesn't have to be rocket boots it can be whatever but I like this one a lot because it's got some cool perks down at the bottom as well. And then for the grenade, we got the fish slap. Now, let me show you the other things that we will be using. For the other grenades, we got the Matosis Hunter Seeker. Throw this thing. Let it just constantly hit enemies and do some damage for you. We've also got the piss grenade. Great for bosses. Throw this at a boss and it debuffs them so that they take 20% increased damage for six seconds. Pretty great. Artifacts that we've got. We got the Atom Bomb Commander Planetoid. This will be when we switch to Gamma Burst. And I'll tell you about that here in a minute. We've got the Elemental Projector Commander Planetoid. Toy, that was a mouthful. I like to put this thing on whenever I'm doing boss fights because it has assault rifle damage and corrosive damage, which is going to be great when we're using our corrosive monarch, especially in like the Guardian takedown or versus Wotan, for example, or even Hemavorus and Remembers, as you saw in the intro footage. We've also got the radio dead pullout method. You can use this to pull enemies in with a singularity by slamming, and then it'll take extra grenade damage and area of effect damage with the perks at the bottom. Knife drain white elephant. Again, just like the rocket boots, the knife drain white elephant will heal you for damage that you deal with melee so fish slap and face punch will both give you healing from this and this one also has melee damage as a bonus roll down at the bottom but the rocket boots is my all-purpose one snowdrift victory rush want to slide across the map really quick put on the snowdrift this thing allows you to slide really fast 128 percent slide speed does give you some corrosive resistance cryo resistance and area of effect damage and then obviously we got to have a cut first launch pad on here this one has mag size radiation damage shot damage it's just a good all-around one right here and if you've never used the cut first launch pad or you don't know why people are so goo goo gaga about this thing basically you put on the cut first launch pad jump and slam the cut first launch pad sends out these rockets they will home in on an enemy and when they hit an enemy it will give you back whatever ammo is for the gun that you're holding so if i was holding a shotgun it would give me shotgun ammo if i was holding a pistol it'd give me pistol ammo back whatever is in your hand is what you will get ammo back for all right, for other class mods, we got Friendbot. This is just in case you want to bring your pet back to life. Got the Cosmic Stalker. There's, a, I believe, two different Cosmic Stalkers. Yeah, there's two different Cosmic Stalkers. One with Jacob's weapon damage and crit damage. And this one's got damage reduction mag size. So you got some good options there. We got a five point dead eye. You'll most likely never need this thing, but I got it legit. So I figured, you know, maybe you'll want it. We got a Bounty Hunter class mod that has weapon mag size and pistol damage. This is in case you're not
not doing so much with assault rifles and shotguns you want to focus on pistols boom throw that thing on got a bounty hunter with plus five to frenzy which uh, allows your pets to do even more damage got this bounty hunter for whenever you want to do rocket launchers throw this thing on it's got splash damage splash damage radius this thing will do crazy stuff whenever you're using your back burner we got the red fang now the red fang is one of the most important class mods on this build even though we're only going to use it in very specific situations so put this thing on and then switch yourself to gamma burst and with this build you're only going to spec into atomic aroma and empathic rage what this is going to do is whenever you have the red fang on it even says in the thing here while gamma burst is active flax pets taunt all enemies and it lasts for the entire duration of gamma burst so if you got your gamma burst going and it lasts you know 10 15 seconds or whatever that's 10 15 seconds the enemies completely ignore you guardian takedown crystals phase this is god tier for that throw this thing on summon your pet away from wherever you're at enemies will run over to wherever your pet's at and they completely ignore you allowing you to charge up the crystals really easily that's why we have that thing on here we also have the rack pack it's great for whenever you're using racks and the cool thing about this build is you can switch to rack attack you can switch to fade away you can switch to gamma burst all of these things you can do them all and have no issues switching between them all right so let's go ahead and switch our stuff back so we can show you some more stuff here all right shields we got the super giant this thing whenever it breaks it makes a circle on the ground you stay in that circle and you're going to deal more damage it's pretty great because flack wants to stand in a circle anyhow he wants to stand in place because while standing still with turn tail and run you get increased gun damage and fire rate which is great for your monarchs great for your butchers great for everything actually all right other shields we got stop gap this one's a no-brainer stop gap is just one of the best all-around shields in borderlands 3 it's so overall functional as a shield what this thing does is whenever it breaks you become immune to any damage that you would take for five seconds you combine that with the fact that you can go into fade away and disappear for you know five to ten seconds and then get your shield recharged in that time pop your action skill start again trigger the immunity again it's crazy you can you can just live forever with this thing you just got to play your cards right with it now this one also has brimming so it gives you some max health back while your shields are full and this one also has a 15 percent chance to absorb bullets as ammo so pretty decent rolls on that and then we got the stinger this one's crazy while your shield is full your melee damage is increased by 50 percent whenever you get meleeed while you're shielded it will return damage back to enemies as cryo damage in this case because this one rolled with cryo but we've also rolled the action skill start activate any effects that trigger on shield fill or break and that allows us to trigger that big old nova and allows us to increase our melee damage it's pretty great and then we got the transformer this one's just one of those great all-around shields allows you to absorb shock damage 100 percent of all shock damage that you take is converted into shields 40 percent chance to absorb bullets baby sham and this one on shield break you deal 100 percent bonus shield capacity as amp damage this one's great with a shock back burner as well because you know you just shoot that thing and you keep your rocket ammo up and you don't take the damage from it as well all right other weapons that we've got in our repertoire we've got an adaptive chaos and i got this live on stream the other day we got a reflux on here got the monarch and multiple elements we got the opq system this gun is so damn good and so much fun we have a craters emp5 and the reason i keep this thing is because of the speed bonus it gives you so if you need to get across a huge ass map you slap this guy on and then you uh slap on your snow drift artifact and next thing you know with those two things you're running fast and sliding fast so you can get across maps super quick so you don't have to like you know run slowly across the map for example butchers in all the different elements we got needle gun we got more monarchs we got the face puncher we talked about the garcia i love the garcia it's just a fun shotgun to use back burner and shock and fire and corrosive so fire and corrosive are great versus hemovorous and vermivorous we got the maggie i love the maggie we got queen's calls in both the radiation and corrosive we got rowan's calls and different elements we got two different hives one with radiation one with corrosive got the hellwalker you gotta have a hellwalker on your build with flak and finally we've got another piece that's actually kind of underrated in the unforgiven now the cool thing about the unforgiven is if you put this thing on and i rolled this one to have gamma burst active 115 percent bonus radiation damage so let's put this thing in our hand and 
let's go ahead and switch to Gamma Burst. And when we switch to Gamma Burst, we always put on our Red Fang. So where's that at? Right there. All right. And then we're also going to go and put on our Commander Planetoid. So we get that area of effect damage and that bonus radiation damage. And now check this out. Just going to run forward here and we're going to summon in our action skill, which is Gamma Burst in this case. And I just want you guys to see how much stronger this is. You can see it just like melts people down really quick. And it's great when you're doing like boss fights as well. You probably saw in the intro when I killed Trant without even firing a single shot, that was doing basically this exact same thing. You just summon in Gamma Burst and let it do all the work for you. It's pretty awesome. Now, one thing to note, uh, a lot of people don't seem to understand this for whatever reason, but if your Gamma Burst just ran out as mine did, check this out. If you use any of the Monarchs, it doesn't matter which Monarch, any of the Monarchs, switch at the Bipod mode, shoot an enemy in the face for just a moment and you can see we got our action skill back already you get your action skill back extremely fast just by shooting things with the monarch all right now in terms of the skill tree we are doing basically just like my destroyer of worlds flak except there's nothing at all in the purple tree so in the mountain dew tree we're going to be using our fade away most of the time this is going to be your go-to thing for bosses and honestly i use it in almost every situation personally the most important skills in this tree are lick the wound so that your pet will revive you if you're going to fight for your life turn tail and run so as you are running you will get health regeneration and damage reduction and while you're standing still and this is great for the monarch since you can't move a whole lot you get increased gun damage and fire rate so both of those are great then we got hidden machine whenever nobody is targeting flak which happens when you do fade away or when you run in the gamma flak and the pets taking all the aggro then you're going to do increased damage as well got fast and the furious this way you get some more gun damage some pet damage and some movement speed and that's just always active movement speed which is why my flak runs so fast i love that skill Got Rage and Recover to get a little bit of health regeneration and then the power inside. This boosts your damage whenever you activate your action skill. So it just means that you go into fade away, you do even more damage than you normally would. The augments that I use are Gorillas in the Mist. This way my fade away doesn't end after three shots. It just keeps going until the timer runs out. And I use Unblinking Eye to increase my critical hit damage. In the blue tree, we have points in Persistence Hunter. This way we get some more gun damage and action skill duration. Both of those are great. We just needed some some points just so we can get down to the next level so we can do frenzy and he bites this allows your pet to basically do massive amounts of damage to enemies when they attack your pet you'll see in the intro footage and in the montage when i'm just standing there fighting an anthema and he just kills himself it's because he hit the pet with his nova and that instantly killed an anthema and the pumpkin spice tree leave no trace so that when we score critical hits we get some ammo returned back to my magazine five in interplanetary stalker five into hunter's eye both of these are just some extra damage skills we got three in head count this way as we score critical hits we get our action skill cooldown back right with a monarch you hit a bunch of crits and boom you're getting your action skill back really quick we got five in ambush predator whenever there are no enemies nearby your weapon handling and crit damage are increased i like to do this from range with a lot of my weapons i'll just try and stay further away and you'll get that handling and crit damage increase we use the spider ant scorcher because this gives us extra elemental damage because we've got plenty of gun damage already big game to increase our hunt skill duration and effects we got most dangerous game this way whenever we kill a badass we get increased crit damage gun damage handling and pet gets extra damage for a long time and it says a long time and that means 120 seconds that's two minutes of extra damage so it's great grim harvest so you get extra gun damage and action skill damage this pair as well when you're doing gamma burst galactic shadow we deal extra crit damage and then of course megavore every spot on an enemy's body becomes a crit spot so general usage for this build again mostly going to use gamma burst and fade away that said you can also switch to rack attack and rack attack's great too cool thing about rack attack is you can go with any kind of anointments you want you can go with action skill start action skill in both of those work great with this i've mostly put fade away active 150 damage on here because most of the time i like to run fade away and i've had this question a lot k6 
how do you have more than three shots in fadeaway? It's because I use gorillas in the mist. I see a lot of people talk about using uh, until you're dead for the movement speed or health regen. In my opinion, that's not what you want to do at all on flak because again, turn tail and run, you want to try and stand still to do more damage. That's a really big thing that a lot of people seem to miss out on. So that's the build guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon for more. Let me know if you want to see Amara or Moe's next. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care.